Welcome back guys. So not too long ago we took a look at the At Games Legends pinball machine. And I've really been enjoying it. It has 22 built-in games on it, pinball games. I enjoy a small handful of them. I know they have plans on bringing a bunch more out. But there's a lot more you could do with that machine. You have access to arcade net, you play Neo Geo games, tons of other arcade games. You could use coin ops, the blast dongles. There's a lot more to it than just pinball. But how do you play those games? I mean, all you have is like a little D-pad on the control panel. Sure, you could plug in a compatible controller and go about it that way. But I like, you know, something like this, having some integrated controls. So that's why they're releasing this thing. I've been aware of this for a while, almost had a chance to test it out last year, but just couldn't make it out to where, you know, we we're going to meet. You know, things came up, whatever. Now, they sent me a retail version, but I think the uh, shipping company lost it or they I don't know. I don't know what the heck they did with it, but they rushed me out a, a prototype sample from a from a tester. So, you know, this one may have been used a bit. Uh, it may not be the final way they actually look. I mean, I'm sure pretty much this is going to be it, but I'm not sure with stuff like this uh, weird plastic casing on the bottom with uh, like handmade cutouts. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, this doesn't really seem like a big deal because this just sits into the top of the control panel there. But I thought this was pretty neat. I like the idea of being able to play some games on the pinball machine and the prospect of having, you know, those vertical shooters and whatnot. And I, I think the, uh, the analog stick feels pretty good. All these components are swappable. Yeah, these buttons, not the, the best, not the worst. Tiny bit stiff, but overall they're not bad. I would probably rate them like a seven or a seven and a half out of 10. Not horrible, not great, but they work. You could change them if you want. I would be really annoyed if you bought something like this and the buttons were just straight up garbage, like a two or a three rank. So these are, these are fine, in my opinion. They just, I think they're just a little too stiff. Maybe that'll work out over time, but not too bad. Trackball feels pretty good. Seems like the same one on the uh, Arcade Legends machine, the uh, Legends Ultimate. But it looks like we just have a couple things that we got to swap. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Looks like this connection has got to be plugged in somewhere. USB for the trackball. So we'll check that out in a moment. Looks like the little haptic things. I'm not even sure what those are called uh, for the haptics of the pinball, you know, so you can feel it. Uh, those are attached in there. I forgot that the uh, top panel had those integrated. I thought maybe they were in the side. Uh, been a little while since I tore that thing apart, but... It seems pretty simple to get this installed, like the side panels you got to take off, which is a couple screws, and then the front panel and the main board, like this doesn't screw in at all. It just kind of sits in and then, you know, all the little things hold it in. You know what I'm talking about. So let's just go ahead and plug this thing in and, you know, get it set up and test it out. Okay, so getting this thing all plugged in and ready to go is pretty simple. Yeah, I just had to remove the two side panels and then the little front locking panel. So a handful of screws, you know, did take a few minutes to get all that going and then removing the original control panel and unplugging uh, the cables from that, which I think it was just the, the one little uh, haptic cable that was plugged in. And then there was one cable for the D-pad. So with this, it was just having to replug the haptics in and plugging in the USB cable that's in the machine into the, uh, the underside of where the trackball is and then just dropping it in and, you know, putting those side panels back on. There's no screws for the control panel. It just kind of sits in place and gets locked into place. And then once you get the panels back on, everything is sturdy. So that, that was simple, easy. You know, it worked right out of the box for me, but there were a few caveats that they told me that, hey, you know, there's no firmware update out there that has the full compatibility for this, but in time for release, you know, the next firmware update is gonna put full compatibility for this since, you know, I'm using a prototype version. But it did work, it was just there's a few little caveats like using this on arcade net where it would register as player two, and, you know, some games that was kind of an issue within arcade net, you can adjust those settings, change, you know, disable player two, swap players around, you know, that kind of thing. It, 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 it's fine, but yeah, that definitely needs to be, you know, firmware it in. And they did say that was, you know, taking place that this, you know, it's not publicly out there yet. So in time for the public release, the firmwares will be out there. So yeah, getting in there, using it, the, the joystick feels good. The buttons are a little stiffer than what's on my, you know, ultimate 
Legends arcade machine, but they still feel okay. Using this, I, I thought it was pretty awesome. I had my kids test it out as well. But the one thing I noticed was the haptics. Uh, <laughs> it's like they're twice as, as more powerful than what was on the original board. So they told me that the haptics have been updated and that I just had an earlier version on the pinball machine that I have. And it, it kind of threw me off for a second. I was like, holy crap, this is a little too intense. You know what I'm saying? A little too intense, but I dialed it down. I mean, you have adjustment settings for the haptics and all that. I dialed it down to the medium setting and it's just fine. So you have options to mess with that. But I, I just had to point that out. It was like, yeah, that's a lot more stronger on this unit than what was on the original control panel. So there's that. You know, I, I'm, I, I like this because you know, when I'm playing this pinball machine, I have to get like reacclimated every time that I play it just for the front buttons that you use to enter into games to go into the menu and whatnot. And, you know, this solves that in a way and that like, okay, I could just use the joystick, which we had a D-pad before. Use the joystick within the UI, use the A button to enter stuff. I don't have to feel around in front of my crotch to find the buttons. And, you know, that that's my point is, you know, all the buttons on the front, they're at crotch level for me. So either I have to get down and look or stand back and look. So every time I play, I gotta kind of remember, okay, that's what each button does. Not a huge deal, just, you know, not, not a big deal at all. Just This makes it easier for me to just hit the A button to get into games type of thing. If you know what I mean, right? Just a, a little extra convenience for my particular, you know, brain that can't comprehend what buttons do, I suppose. But overall, I, I think it's it's a, a very nice little product. They're supposed to be having this on a like half off today when this video goes live through their little uh, celebration on their website. And I think it's a nice little add-on. The trackball feels nice. Uh, you know, I definitely like to see more games being added to be used for this. There are games you could play on, on uh, using add-on X and stuff like that, and this works fine. You know, it incorporates with the system well. Like I said, the firmware is not up to date yet for you know, when I recorded this video. So I did have those couple little minor things with that two player issue system recognizing it as player two, but that'll be rectified soon. And overall, I think it's a nice add on. If, if you enjoy, you know, playing games like, you know, with the six buttons and a joystick, why the hell not, right? So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I think it's cool. I'm gonna be leaving it on my machine. No reason to go back to the previous version. If you're interested, links in the description. With that said, guys, really do appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one. And I'll, I'll catch y'all you know, next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom. Bye.